After two seasons with Claire Foy, I remember the excitement seeing Olivia Colman for the first time in costume as Queen Elizabeth II. Well, with the Crown's ever-changing cast, that time has come again, this time with our new Queen, Imelda Staunton. I'm Matt Rogers and join me today as I bring you an update on The Crown Season 5 and an exclusive first look at Imelda Staunton playing the lead role. But before we get to that, if you want videos on the latest movies and TV shows delivered straight to your subscription feed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. Now I've done a full video outlining everything we know about the upcoming season so far, but since then we have had some major updates. To start with, this show has absolutely dominated the Emmys this year with no less than 24 nominations, including the well-earned outstanding drama series amongst the nominated cast for their respective roles. In other news, we have confirmation of who will be playing Prime Minister John Major for the larger part of Season 5. Actor Johnny Lee Miller, who we've seen previously in movies such as Train Spotting and shows such as Elementary. He joins an already stellar set of cast members who have played Prime Ministers in the show so far. One of my favourite performances so far, who was kind of underrated, was Jason Watkins as Harold Wilson in Season 3. With Watkins' performance, you could really feel the weight of the country on his shoulders, and seeing the Queen and him go from almost enemies to personal friends was a beautiful story arc to behold. Culminating, of course, in Queen Elizabeth requesting to have dinner at his residence in Downing Street. But in some news that interestingly blurs the line between the crown and the actual crown, Jonathan Price, who will be playing Prince Philip in both seasons 5 and 6, has been honoured with a knighthood for services to drama and charity. Price has said, quote, that the UK continues to honour those that work in the arts, acknowledges the great contribution artists make to the way we live our lives. After almost 50 years as an actor, I am proud to think that the work and ideals that I have shared with my friends and colleagues is being honoured in this way, end quote. After the death of Prince Philip, there will be a lot of eyes on Price to do the role justice, but definitely interesting timing on the royal family's behalf. There have been many reports for the royal family's stance against how Prince Philip was portrayed in the show. It'll be interesting to see how they feel about Prince Philip's portrayal in the final seasons once they go to air. But now for what we've all been waiting for. With The Crown expected to return in 2022 and filming currently underway, an exclusive on-set photo of the Oscar-nominated Imelda Staunton as Queen Elizabeth II has been released. Wearing a yellow blouse, a pearl necklace and an unimpressed look on her face, Staunton looks every bit the part that I expected her to. Staunton has said back in January, quote, I have loved watching The Crown from the very start. As an actor, it was a joy to see how both Claire Foy and Olivia Colman brought something special and unique to Peter Morgan's scripts. I am genuinely honoured to be joining such an exceptional creative team and to be taking The Crown to its conclusion, end quote. Obviously, Staunton and Price come with a complete casting overhaul, and we'll see them alongside Leslie Manville as Princess Margaret, Dominic West as Prince Charles, and Elizabeth Dembitsky as Princess Diana. The actors to play Camilla Parker Bowles, Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew are still yet to be announced. Season 5 is set to take place in the 90s and we'll be focusing on major events such as the headlining relationship breakdowns between Prince Charles and Princess Diana, Princess Diana's death as well as the divorce of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. But the show will not end there. The Crown's timeline will likely continue into the early 2000s. If not in Season 5, then in Season 6. Peter Morgan, creator of the series, has said to The Hollywood Reporter, quote, As we started to discuss the storylines for Series 5, it soon became clear that in order to do justice to the richness and complexity of the stories, we should go back to the original plan and do six seasons, end quote. It was previously undecided whether a sixth season would take place, but personally I'm glad to see that they'll have those final two seasons to do the series justice, and ensure nothing is rushed. Plus we all get more episodes of The Crown, which I don't think anyone is complaining about. But now that you've seen what Imelda Staunton looks like in the role, how do you think she'll go playing a more modern monarch? Are you happy with the casting choices they've made thus far? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. But be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering your favourite movies and TV shows. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.